à leur danse. But guys, I want to see you guys not moving around the mat chasing the guy around. I want to see you guys being in the pocket and be able to do it in that mirror. Yeah, I'm going to find in the mirror. He was the most well rounded fighter in the gym. Yeah. Who do you think? Stafford Swainson. Yeah. Why do you ask so many questions? <laughs> I thought I was getting the question of the day, bro. No, no, Grizzler's question of the day. Okay, McGrizzler. Um, best all-rounder in the gym. Jordan Barton. Bro, Jordan Barton can strike and he can grapple six, though. He's cold, though. Um, obviously, everyone's cold, bro, but I think best at doing, best at putting it all together, bro, I'd say Jordan. He's cold, though. I don't know. I don't know. There's too many. The, the levels are too high. It just depends. Yeah, if I'm honest, it just depends who turns up on the night and what fight. Because in the gym, everyone's on a level. I feel like as you, as you, the only difference between professional and amateurs is just performing at a, with a higher intensity of, of of occasion. Do you know what I'm saying? So it just depends, bro. There's everyone mixing it. Everyone's everyone's skillful. Everyone can do different bits. So I can't necessarily say if I'm being honest. Most all rounder in the gym. Oh shit. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, probably biased, but probably AB. Because realistically, like, ain't nobody gonna out wrestle him. He's as quick as some of the fucking lightweights. It's probably AB. They're stupid if they say otherwise. So if you envision yourself as a striker and you want to improve and you just did two minutes of striking, maybe you didn't get better? Does that make sense? Yeah, if you envision yourself as a grappler and you shot all the time, maybe you also didn't get better. I saw a lot of you guys, I was much more proud of the people who are grapplers about not always shooting, looking for time, the shots in disguise, the shots behind striking. I would suggest some of you guys try not to lose and just use defensive striking to not get took down. All right, internalize your training, guys. If you get in your car and you put your seatbelt on your low, yes, then get took down once. 
I'm a rainy champ of dickhead. Yeah? Does that make sense? Maybe you should really think about what you're going to do. What I was going to do at the end of this session was this. I was going to say, all right, I'm going to put five threes on the clock. It's up to you whether you do striking or grappling. But I'm going to take away that decision from you. you guys, get your kit off. I'm going to do five threes of grappling. Let's go. I love dogs. Bending gets the top, still no separation, we don't reset. If Jordan escapes, gets the top, free separation, he'll start a Nazi fight with just wrist control and from there. Oh, you can't do this, you can't do me like that. I'm not gonna answer this. I'm gonna get beat up by him and by everybody else. I'm not gonna ask. I'm gonna stand up to this shit. Right now, Ibra's got Mr. Stubborn, Mr. Saul, the hangman. You know what I'm saying? That man would rather die than top. You know what I'm saying? That man would rather die than top. Stafford Swainston, definitely hands down. He probably, everyone else kind of, they go back to the original game. When shit gets techy, bro, well, I think Staff's the only one that has like a very all around game, like he's dangerous everywhere, you know? So Kane's arm is, is, is separated from his body, as he's got a nice head to fight with the head, we'll start a cross body ride. Got it? Best all rounder, Jordan Barton. That's it, mate. Yeah, Jordan Barton. Got all the skills to pay all the bills, mate. I love dogs. Um, apart from yourself, apart from myself, Staff, Big Swaino, Jordan. I'll even, I'll even give him to Big Lewis right there. Big Lewis right there. Good old Curtis. And myself, of course. Yeah. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lewis is going to give the under up. He's going to let you establish from there and around his life. Your, your understanding of Anaconda and Darth and the defences there with will come into action from that point. I love Darth. Jake, Jake actors. Jake actors. It's got to be in between Lightning or um, I'd say Stafford Swinston or Jordan Barton, them three, it's between them three. Oh, I'm going to take a fucking looking at him, mate. Yeah. fucking looking at him. You're looking at the goddamn king, eh? Maybe AB. Oh, AB's a good answer as well. AB and Stop. Yeah, AB and Stop. Yeah, and one of them too. Put yourself in there, bro. Yeah, they're not going to be the top three. He's definitely in there, like. You're definitely in there, bro. Yeah. Jordan Martin's got to be up there, no doubt about it, especially when you factor in his experience and how long he's been around the game. Um, you know, coming through the generations, he's, he's been able to, I guess, pick up different things along the years. So, yeah, I've uh, spent a lot of cage time with Jordan, a lot of rounds, and he's very, very good. So, say Jordan. Ah, best all rounder in the gym. Bro, I'm too tired for this shit to be. 
put me on the spot here now because I think of who's the best striker, who's the best listener, the best all rounder. All right. Now the thing is, there are a lot of people with good striking and good wrestling, uh, but then they lack lacking the jits. Let me think. Staff's a good all rounder. Staff. Uh, I'm probably gonna go staff. You know. Probably say. Staffy, Staffy, works it well together, man. Dangerous kid. Three, three, Top two. Good stuff, guys. I love.